Hello the Vugato people and my fellow collectors. This video gonna be my review and close up look, uh, my take on the retro entertainment uh, series. This is uh, the Mix B for 2017 with the theme Hello. It is a um, games uh, by Microsoft for Xbox. I've never played it. Uh, um, not really never, I played once, but then it is not my kind of things. So, let's take a look at what this series and how the cars looks like and feel. So the first one, uh, I've already opened it from its packaging. And the first one is UNSC Warthog. Uh, this is how the packaging looks like. I carved it out uh, carefully. It does not have the cars or the vehicle design on it, but then this is I think it takes from the Halo uh, game. It has a metal base, metal body with real riders. I think exactly as its game. Okay, so the first one, uh, only what uh, UNSC what hawk. <laughs> so this is the vehicle. It looks so good. It feels really solid. All of the vehicles is made uh, by metal die cast. Yeah, the base is solid. The body is solid. But then there is a bit part of it made uh, with other material, which is plastic. Uh, the weapon above here is by plastic. It is the extension of the interior. Here, the interior is in black. You can see. Uh, the plastic uh, windshield on the driver seat it has two driver seat a uh, driver and a passenger one passenger seat one driver seat it has detail at the back at the rear it is uh, for I think this is for fuel and most probably the rest is for storage I guess uh, I don't know so the the wheels the wheels look so good it is real rider and i would i would uh i would think it is based on the real tire from the game it it is it, it is made from rubber so you can really push feels just nice nice designed yeah Right, this is the first one. The second one is uh, UNSC Gun Goose. Gun Goose, uh, this is the cut design. Also, no vehicle in it, but then the design is so awesome. It is a take from the game, I believe. Yes. Similarly, it is a metal base, metal body with rear riders. Okay. So this is the second one. This is I think another war vehicle from the game uh, Hello. Okay. It looks awesome, man. I think even if you are not a fan of the game by any means, it's still going to be a cool collection, a cool Hot Wheels collection. Regardless you are a fan or not of the game. This is going to be a very cool vehicle collection. I think similarly to the previous one, the base is uh, metal. The body itself is metal, but then there are parts uh, of the interior that are not metal. Like this one is uh, plastic. Can you see? Yeah, it has flex to it. And the wheels, the wheels are... Rear Rider The wheels are Rear Rider Nice Rubber And it has weight to it I really like to hold this one Yeah, similar to the first one Yeah The UNSC Warthog It weights solid I like to 
hold to it. The next one, UNSC Scorpion. Yeah, UNSC Scorpion. This is the card design. I like to keep my cards. I like to keep my cars, obviously, or vehicles. This one is metal body, metal base, but then it has no uh, real rider tires. <laughs> Because this is tank, it is not supposed to have tires. Or even if it is a real riders, it's gonna be metal. But then it's gonna be crazy if they do that. The design artwork is so nice, so nice. Even there's no vehicle to identify it in the design. That's fine. It's gonna be look so good in collection. The third one. Tang. Can I focus? Please, please focus on it. It looks so good. You see, this is the tire. Uh, it's supposed to be a tire, but then it does not move like a actual tank. They put in another standard tire to simulate the way it's moving. See, it moves. Yes, uh, the other cars move too very well without any obstruction. Right? Even though it is a real rider tire, it moves so well. Even this one, right? So this one, no exception, move real good. It's gonna be nice in diorama. Yeah, if you are into diorama, uh, that that's what I meant. But I love it because it's gonna be looking so good as a diorama. Even you are not into hello, right? So the base. UNSC Scorpion by Microsoft. It is a game by Microsoft. Right? Oh, and then uh, the cannon. You can move it around. 360 degrees. And the other cannon, small one, you can also move it. Very nice indeed. <laughs> I'm a fan of these vehicles. Maybe not the game itself, but and this is a very nice collection. The, the fourth one is uh, Covenant Ghost. Covenant Ghost. This is the artwork. It has metal body, metal base, no wheels at all. This one, no wheels at all. Because it is supposed to be a flying vehicle. Alright. This is the one Covenant Ghost. Flying vehicle. It has wigs to it, even it looks small. It feels good in your hand. It has stands so that it can sit nice. Yeah, you can show it part of your diorama as a flying vehicle at the airport. Uh, that sort of things. Or you can make it fly on stands. It looks totally good. I love this series. Without doubt, I love this series. And the last one. Another flying vehicle without the, the without any uh, wheels. It is have it has metal base, metal body. The artwork is from the game without any indication of the vehicle. If I'm gonna keep this one, it's gonna be no, next time, I won't even remember which one for which. <laughs> it is still a nice card packaging, by the way. It's, it is named Banish Wraith. It's a Banish Wraith. What an awesome name. So here it is. A nice looking vehicle when flying. Nice looking vehicle. The base. I think the base is this one. The eventually this one is not a metal base because it has flex to it. I don't know. 
it does not look metal to me but then it has a lot of metal component uh, on its uh, body it, sh it still looks good doesn't matter to me all right what do you think of this series and all of the vehicles in it there is five in total for the mix b of 2018 for retro uh, series uh, retro entertainment or you can say uh, in this model based on the entertainment uh, movies games or whatever so this is the uh, the mix b for 2018 hello team what do you think about it yeah for me, it is a definitely a keeper, uh, um, a must-have for collections. I like it so much, especially if you are into diorama. That's my personal take on it. I'm not sure about you. You can let me know in whatever forms. Alright, with that, thank you for watching. That's all from me. And before we end, as usual, for my subscribers, thank you so much for you to subscribe. And for those who are not yet to subscribe, Maybe you can't if you find it interesting. And thank you for supporting me. Even thank you for watching. That helps a lot. I love to share whatever I think about it. And until then, I hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you. And that's all. Bye.